All right, I think this person taunted me. I want to say this person taunted me. <laughs> so we're gonna, we gotta fuck him up now. All right, don't roll towards him. All right, fine, no more rolling. Oh, damn, I fucked that up. Damn, did I fuck that up. Damn it, I didn't get the purple throw. He purple, I don't know if I got it at the end of the round, if I caught the recording of him purple throwing me. But he purple threw me at the end, so I tried to, do, I tried to return the favor, and I missed it. God damn it. Extend your arms. You're not a T-Rex. Get the full range of motion out there so you can wrap your arms around them. Bring them back in for a bear hug. Learn how to hug, homie. Shit. But yeah, this poor dude doesn't have a damn clue how to deal with Asriel. He really doesn't. As he's just getting, like, the moment I get in on him, it's over. Like, every single round so far, the second I get in, it's done. Until I let him roll out because I fucking suck at catching rolls. Please really need to work on that. I just noticed the change in voice. Like, that was... Lame. Like, did you hear she's like, Azrael, like all normal and shit, and then picks Amani. Amani Mishiki! Yeah, that was a little, that's a little too flamboyant for me. It's a little, it's too telling. Alright, let's see if 3C works at the beginning. There's no way it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Hey, it kinda did. I cannot believe I missed. Look the shit! Yeah, I have no idea what the hell this character is doing. Ooh, that was supposed to be a 3C! Damn it, I suck! Yeah, that was obviously not what we wanted. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> Got you back! Even if it cost me my, uh... You mash. Yeah, my fault. I should have just DP. That was a bad idea. I need to recognize the drills better. Because obviously, if I DP them, like screw your drills. But I haven't been able to test yet. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go into training mode because I'm not good enough to react in time. But I feel kind of like this dude needs to beat me. Because I don't want to have like a video of me just beating up like the only fucking Amane player in the world. They end up like rage quitting the character. I wouldn't blame him. I would not play that character. I mean, it's, it's not even my style to begin with, but that character just seems like so incredibly frustrating to use. Because it's definitely one of the, it's like a Tager-like situation. Like, I'm playing with Azrael. If I lose, I know I lost. That's a fact. Like, Azrael has all the tools to win, and I have nobody to blame but myself if I lose with this character. Whereas with Amane, that homie does not have all the tools. That homie has fucking weird as hell spacing. 
And it's quite possible it is the damn character fucking everything up. Ow, that had more range than I expected. I'm gonna do it again. It didn't work. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck. Worth it. See, like this kind of this, like that's his anti air. That's his anti air, and half of that fucking ribbon doesn't even have a hitbox. Obviously, <laughs> I got some work to do in terms of utilizing. What the hell is that mode called? It's bl I'm blanking on it right now. Overdrive. Obviously, I have some work to do on my overdrive confirms. Because <laughs> that didn't work. Totally thought it might have. It didn't. Because I've never actually seen anybody use overdrive to hit confirm the low weak points. Like, I've seen plenty of people use it to hit confirm the high ones, and then what you end up doing is that, like, you do, like, 2C into 6D, you get the bounce off of that, then you do 5D, you get another bounce off of that, and then everybody goes into 2, 3, 6D, and then they do the whole loop from there, and that's how it works out. I've never seen anybody confirm it off of the low points. I've never seen anybody use overdrive to start to loop those low points. I've only seen them do the high points, so I didn't know. I was just doing that and crossing my fingers. Damn. This person wants to fight now. It got real. I'm gonna try, let's try this shit, let's try this shit, let's try this shit. Nope, didn't work. If I had held it down, I might have. Damn it, stop holding up back. Okay, yeah, they still do get levels off of it. Yo, where was the DP? I have no idea why that just missed. That was all just, that was all very weird. I'm not entirely sure what just happened right there. I do, however, know what happened right there, and it was not a good thing. Yo lag, yo lag! Button didn't come out, you motherfucker! Oh my god. That's what happens when you skip the intro. <laughs> That's what you get! That was way too late. That was it! Ooh, I almost did it! Fuck you! Shit. I need to actually check and see if that works. Because I've never actually hit that exact combo before. I've never hit... Because I know you can on Fatal Counters do 5A, 5B, 3C. 
but thus far I've only gotten it to work off of a 60 counter hit. I've never gotten it to work off of doing like the beginning of the challenge mode combo because the challenge mode combo sucks. The challenge mode combo is terrible. It whiffs against half the cast to begin with. It uh what am I trying to say? Let's just let's just go with uh nope, not that, not that, not that, not that. How the fuck do we Ooh. That's not what we want to do. Oh, he left anyway, but still. I wanted I wanted to say GG's, but uh that's I mean, that's not doing shit. Oh, nope, that's not doing shit either. <laughs> How do I make this Murrican? Where are my Murrican letters at? That's not oh Murrican! Well, it, that, it took me too long to figure that out for you to get to see it, but... Ooh, where are you? Mr. Monkey, Lightning, Cyclops, CM, Sora, and they all got good... Actually, I don't know. Is Blue good? CM, Sora, you're right here. Damn. But yeah, they're all right here. Oh, and now we... Nope, nope. We lost everything. <laughs> we lost... Oh, no, they're still Susan Donuts. Oh, that was the Noel player. That did not have a real three-bar connection, you liar. You lying, filthy, naughty little girl. Obviously, we don't want that. So, shit. Yeah, this is pretty much like our only choice. Are these homies right here? I'm gonna check this while I'm. Because obviously, nobody's available for playing right now. Nigara Sama, how old are you? What are you? You left anyway. Oh. How, where'd I get the Sama from anyway? You, you suck. You have a zero bar connection. Don't nobody wanna play with you. What is this shit? Network color. So it's blue. Oh, light blue's terrible. <laughs> I saw. See, I saw this. I was like, "Yo, blue, yellow, orange. We in there? Let's go. Those are good colors. Blue is not a good color. Light blue is the worst. That's the worst color you can have. I'm right smack dab in the middle. I'm average. And I don't blame that. Because I mean, firstly, I am average. I'm not amazing. But also on top of that, I allow a lot of people to just win. Like I don't, I don't try to. Uh, I don't bother fight. If it's not on camera, I don't bother fighting in bad connections. If it's a bad connection, I just let them win. I'll just hit them so they don't get the prestige of perfecting the amazing Nathaniel Aristotelian the third. Should have thrown a, like a, a middle name in there. Nathaniel P. Aristotelian the third. No perfects on that man. Uh, but other than that, like I just let him win, so that obviously isn't helping me at all to just let him beat me. I need to play. Oh, I want to play. I want to play. Snoozing donuts. Where are you? Oh, that's those two. Okay. Damn it! Like this system would be significantly better for me this system would be significantly better for me if I was an asshole if I did not like basically in my entire life the lessons I basically learn are based on the emotions I feel off of somebody doing something to me like if I get angry at somebody doing something to me I will never do it to anybody else because I will remember the exact way I felt when that happened and fuck that, I'm not making somebody else feel the same way. So like that la that other video, I think I've only other done one other video of me involved in this lobby system. Of that dude where I was playing that bullet, having fun with that bullet, getting some real games in, learning some shit, and then that homie just jumps in. Like the moment I lose, he jumps in and steals my spot. And I, that fucking pissed me off. I had a good connection, that was my dude. We were doing some good things. And then that homie ruined it. I'll never do that to somebody else. I need to be more of an asshole. These people need to fight faster. Cause these are all the people that are over here. Let's just go run. I mean, it's not like running over here is gonna kill us. Let's go see. Nope, damn it. So I think this dude's solid Phoenix, and now uh, that's a one bar connection for me, so that might be good for them. Ooh! Ooh! Are they gonna go back? Are they gonna go back? Are they gonna go back? Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Damn it, CM Sora! Fine. Alright, so we're probably not gonna get any matches in here any longer. So I, don't, I know I don't want to play this dude with the Noel again. Fuck it. We outie. Let's go check out player matches. Let's check out ranked.
I think I already did check out ranked and there wasn't anybody there, right? Yeah, nobody plays ranked. I mean, the thing, the thing is, too, is that, like, I don't know how the system works exactly, but I want to say that it probably only lists... I don't know if, like, do I get thrown up on the list at this point in time? Like, if I'm just sitting here at this section, do I get thrown up on the list for people to join me if they're around? Or is it, alternatively, because you have this... I think it's this... Uh, yeah, it's this option right here, which basically toggles um, matchmaking on and off for you while you're playing offline modes. I don't know if that extends to every single offline mode or only certain ones, but if it only lists people that have toggled that in the first place, I'm curious. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. Three person lobby, three bar connections all around. Let's go. So we're gonna probably have to sit here for a while because this person probably just made this. So what have we got to talk about? I'm not sure what we have to talk about. I wanna learn Valkenhayn. I still wanna learn Valkenhayn. I never learned Valkenhayn because the problem was when Valkenhayn came out, I was still very bad at fighting games. I was okay with Tager just because Tager had a very low executional requirement. I didn't have movement to worry about with Tager because Tager had no movement. There was there a lot of the f like facets of fighting games that you have to know in order to play. Tager kind of just bypasses. He doesn't have a high executional. He kind of does now, not nearly as much as other people. But like now, he actually does have to link things and like time things. Before it was just like, this is how his combo works. They all just chain together, don't even bother trying to link them, just go nuts. And that was basically how it is. And now, like, there are some height requirement things, like if you're trying to do the, uh... Like, against an airborne opponent, if you try to do the 5C and the 2B, not 2B, 6B, and the 6B juggle, and then you can jump cancel the 6B and do, you know, jump moves off of that. There is a height requirement to that. You have to pay attention to how high they are, otherwise the 6B will miss. That kind of stuff. So, like, now Tagger actually kind of has an executional requirement, but he didn't really have that before. So that's how I got away with playing him and actually beating people who were far better at fighting games than me, but I just happened to have good reads, and I was good with Tager. But I was, I, if, if you try to get me to learn a new character, I sucked at it. Like, I would go two weeks of playing this character and I would make no progress whatsoever because I didn't know what to practice. I didn't know what to work on. I was, I just sucked. Please That's past character. now. Like, I'm actually learning this character at a decent rate. I'm picking things up at a decent rate. My movement is just significantly better than it was when I first started playing this game already. And it's only been about two weeks. So, like, I think I can actually learn characters now. And that's what stopped me from learning Valkenhayn previously. Is that I sucked at fighting games and he was a hard character to play. I mean, he is, like, he has silly-ass mix-up. Oh, man, this is not promising at all. Did you see how slow it was at the start there? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Damn it. Ow. Shouldn't hit the button. Shouldn't hit the button. I'm like I said, I suck against Ragnar. That's just, that's just a pure fact. I don't know why I do, but I do. But the delayed tech beats everybody. Fuck. Oh, damn it, that wasn't what I wanted. Get in the corner. That really sucks. That sucks against Ragnar. I should have been hit by any of that. I should have been hit by the... Obviously, when I DP'd, I should have been hit by that. Because I deserve it. Yo, what the shit? What the shit? I deserve to be hit by that. I should have been hitting buttons. Oh god, lag spike! 
Oh yeah, he, he I mean he's calling me out with oh shit. That is so fucking stupid, I hate that shit. I mean, kudos to him to being able to actually do that. Like, did you hear those two? I hit two buttons, and that motherfucker just stood there. Shit. Yeah, that connection was far. That was the same as against that Noel player. That connection was just, it wasn't three bars, pure and simple. It might have just been because this dude skipped the intro. Could have been something else, I don't know, but yeah. We had better connection with the two bars than we did with the two three bars we played. So, peace out. I haven't had a good connection. Like, I haven't had a an excellent connection with Aragna yet, and I really need it. Because that's the character that I really am struggling against the most. Because he's just, he's a very solid character. He's not, it's, it has nothing to do with like, difficulty in blocking everything he's doing, but it's difficulty in figuring out how to get around all of his tools. Because he is, he isn't a character like Lychee who just has this overwhelming offense and like 50 overheads to deal with. But he's just a solid character all around that you have to be careful against. So I got some works to do against Ragna. So I need to find a, like a really good Ragna player that I have a good connection with so I can just sit down and get beaten like 50 fucking times in a row so I can learn that damn matchup. Ah! Let's check this shit out. One more time. Let's just see what's going down. What's going down over here in the Brett Twitch? Nope! See, K9, that motherfucking K9 V2, ruining it for everybody. Ruining it for everybody. Still nothing over here. That's the thing that gets me too, like... There's so many times when that shit comes up, and it's just, there's nothing. Doesn't tell you if it's zero bars. And that's happened to me before too, which can, which is why I think, like, sometimes I could, they could just be, like, bullshitting me out of a three bar connection. Because previously... Uh, there have been a few times where I check the player match list, and like, you know, obviously as we saw, I guess Koopa's maybe gone, or maybe his is full, but I would see, you know, like, the Brett Twitch would be there, Koopa would be there, see, like, this, this room right here, this USA room, let's actually just see, what are these, okay, there, our connection isn't good enough to begin with, but they're in, ooh, they're in the USA, look at this room, this motherfucker's in Holland, and it shows me the connect, oh, well, now they're all coming up. But this dude's in Holland, and it shows me the connection of somebody that's in Holland, but this dude that's in the USA is not showing me the connection? The same thing happened before, like, for a while, sometimes when I check, the connection just wouldn't show up for, like, the Brett or for Koopa's room, which they're obviously three bars, they're always three bars, but for whatever reason, it just didn't come up, so that's why I have to kind of, like, I, um, there has to be some of this stuff going down. The same thing happens when I join these rooms. There's a lot of connections that just don't give me notification of what they are at all. And I have to wonder if I'm missing out on good connections because of that stuff. Because it just doesn't show up sometimes. And I heard that was actually one of the problems that was supposedly fixed in the patch. Was how a lot of the times you would... No, that was different. It would be... It was actually a ranked problem where like the list would just mysteriously disappear. Like nobody would ever show up again after some kind of problem and it wouldn't work again until you quit the game or something, so that was actually a completely separate thing. I was mistaken, I remembered incorrectly. But yeah, so that's that. Gotta find me, I gotta find more character diversity. Let's actually go, just go check this out. Let's go to lobby, I mean not lobbies, let's just go to the character select screen and see what's going down here. I've seen a fair amount of Tarumis, Tarumis. not a lot, but a fair amount. I've played my fair amount of, all just to sign like a high, middle, or low. Or none. I see this character a lot would be high. I see this character fairly often would be mid. Low would be I barely see this character, but I've seen him once or twice. And then none would be obviously I haven't seen any at all. Mid, mid, high, mid, low. I've seen two of them, I think. Mid, mid, high, low. I'm a, I'm gonna say none, because I haven't played a good one. I played one. And they didn't qualify as a good one. Whoa, I've seen, I think, three different Kagura's. 
None. One. I think? Have I seen? No, actually, never mind. I, no, yeah, I have seen one. But I don't think I played against them. I think I might have been, like, I saw it happen. One. I've seen a couple. We're gonna low, because I haven't seen very many. None. None. High. One, so very low. None. I actually have not played a Subaki, which is surprising, because Subaki's pretty decent in this game, isn't she? I mean, she's not, she's not anything to write home about, but she's a mid-tier character. She's good, and she's had her fan base previously, so that's actually surprising. I have not seen a Subaki. None. I haven't seen a single Rachel, and she's good. One, that one dude from earlier, the laggy-ass bastard. None. Low. And then that one from before that I still haven't played. So yeah, like, there's not much character diversity so far. And that's kind of sad, because this is, honestly, in my opinion, the the, the, uh, the best balanced Blaze Blue that has come out. Like, CT wasn't terrible, but you had, obviously, you had New, Arakuni, and Rachel just fucking everything up for everybody. And then you had, like, a big smattering of characters that were all basically around the same strength level. Like, they were all good, they were all com competitive, but they just weren't as good as the three gods of Blaze Blue CT. And then you had, like, Hakuman and Tager at the bottom, just by on their own. Like, sorry, you just suck. <laughs> and then in CS, CS was decently balanced. The problem was they absolutely just destroyed Rachel. Tager still sucked. And then you had Bang was just like, Bang's... Ugh, Bang was Bang. He was hella good. CS2 came out, and that was just a fucking mess. Thanks, Noel and Makoto. Y'all fucked that game up for everybody. And Extend came out, and it still wasn't like it was basically damage control for the terrible balancing of CS2. That's what Extend was. I can't say any specifics about it, because I didn't get to play it. Well, not that I didn't get to play it, I was just so tired of Blaze Blue by then, I just didn't bother playing it, and most of the Blaze Blue community was in the same scenario, so nobody played that game, really. And then this game comes out, and this game is, honestly, I feel, the most balanced. I mean, you do have characters, like, you know, there is a solid top three agreed upon Valkenhayn, Lychee, and Talkaka. But none of them are, like, overwhelming. It's not like... It, it's not like the CT top three. They're just extremely good characters. Whereas in CT, it was like, these three are overwhelming, and good luck beating them if you are not another one of these three. Basically, that was kind of what it was. In this game, they're still beatable. They're just all fucking good. And you don't really have anybody that's, like... There aren't any characters where it's, like, you feel hopeless. Whereas, you know, this character cannot win. All characters can win. All characters have the necessary tools to win. It's really just a factor of how good those tools are. Like, you know, obviously the top three have better tools than the people that are in the bottom. But the bottom still can win. You know, the bottom kind of agreed upon right now is Amane. Bullet. Um, is the Yoi maybe? She still has a lot of work to do, but the problem is that, like, she is extremely easy to defeat if you get the first hit and her zoning isn't really good enough to allow so i feel like once people figure out her move set her uh when she's not powered up they'll just be able to easily overwhelm her and that's the problem is if you start overwhelming her she's never gonna get those orbs to be able to compete with you in the beginning that's why i personally think izayoi is going to stay bottom despite the fact that people are like yo she has potential i don't agree there because she doesn't have any option whatsoever to deal with pressure. And if she's being pressured, she's not getting orbs. So you're just going to get fucked up there. And her zoning isn't really good enough. People just really haven't figured out her projectiles. But once they do, her projectiles are not good enough to gather her orbs. What was the other? There was another one. It was on there. Oh, Makoto. Obviously, Makoto is just... She has the tools to win. But you just need to get, like, ten more combos than your average character in order to get there. Because they nerfed, they killed her damage. Absolutely murdered her damage. That poor little woman. But yeah, I mean, they're, they can still win with them. It's still possible. Like, they all still have good tools. Like like I said, Amane. Once you get her dr his drills leveled up, holy shit, the chip damage, the barrier they break. Like, oh my god, it's amazing. It's just, it's a factor of getting them to that point, of leveling them up to that point. Same thing with Bullet and Izio. They suck at the beginning, but if you manage to get them up, they're a competitive character. So anyway, that's it. That's enough rambling on my part. Uh, hopefully we can find more good connections and I can keep getting better and better.